Now to the big story we're following in the district tonight. The newspaper that brought down a president. It's sold to an Internet pioneer. The stunning announcement was made late this afternoon at the Washington Post. Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon.com, bought the Post and other newspapers from the company controlled by the Graham family for $250 million. Tom Rousey joins us live from the Washington Post with what employees and customers are saying tonight. Tom. Audrey, the Post has had so much stability over the years. So news of it being sold, well, that came as a surprise to a lot of people. On the ticker behind me here, along with headlines about such things as the Muslim Brotherhood and the stock markets, one of the headlines tonight is about the Post itself. A shock to many people, and what's even perhaps more shocking than the sale is news of who the new owner is going to be. The shocking news came down as Patricia Langford and her nieces toured the post. It was kind of exciting, yeah, knowing I was there when history was made. It was very surprising. No, nobody knew it was for sale. Former executive editor Leonard Downey has been with the post nearly 50 years. He was there as publisher Catherine Weymouth announced Amazon founder Jeff Bezos was buying the paper for $250 million. Catherine read a statement from him in which he made clear that he strongly subscribes to the journalistic values of the Washington Post, and that for me, of course, is the most important thing. The Post is an institution, perhaps best known for bringing down a president, thanks to reporters Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein's coverage of the Watergate scandal. The paper will now be owned by a man made famous by the internet. It seems uh, kind of a crossing of two worlds. <laughs> Jeff Bezos is known for his big personality. Oh, he reportedly can be demanding, but he also isn't afraid to spend money to make money. Jeff Bezos understands this new world that we're in and that all news organizations have to adapt to, whether it's Channel 7 or The Washington Post. I still get it delivered at home. But many don't. I've been a subscriber before, but I don't really subscribe to anything anymore. I read everything online. Pam Martin is one of hundreds of thousands of people who've stopped getting home delivery in recent years. She's optimistic Bezos can help The Post adapt to the new media world. It looks like a, a good deal for them. And the Post Company's chief executive, Donald Graham, said under the current situation, the paper could survive, but he said he didn't want the paper to just survive. He wanted it to succeed, and he really feels like this sale to Jeff Bezos gives it the best chance to do that. Live tonight in Northwest, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. All right, Tom, now the sale of the Washington Post means the end of the paper's eight-decade association with the Graham family. Eugene Meyer, who is the father of longtime publisher Catherine Graham, bought the Post Post back in 1933. Catherine Graham took over the paper in 1963 and led it through Watergate. Graham's granddaughter, Catherine Weymouth, has been the publisher since 2008. More details now about the man behind the purchase. 49-year-old Jeff Bezos founded Amazon.com in 1994. Forbes magazine estimates Bezos' net worth about $28 billion. Bezos, who lives in Seattle, Washington, says he does not plan on running the day-to-day -day operations of the paper.